Hello, in this lesson we are going to cover ICOs, which stand for Initial Coin Offering. They might sound sort of similar to something else you've heard of, which is probably IPO, which is an Initial Public Offering. And this is when a company floats its shares on the stock market for everyone to potentially buy. Buy. So at its core, an ICO is a fund raising mechanism. Mechanism. A lot of people compare them to IPO, but there's actually a lot of differences. So an IPO, an IPO is regulated. It is tried and trusted usually 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 occur at later stages in a business so after seed round after several series rounds of funding and then the ipo so uh, a lot of companies especially in the technology in the streets or people even think it, the ultimate goal is even an IPO, so getting it on the stock market or essentially selling your company. So either selling it or selling part shares of your company off on the stock market. Whereas an ICO, most part, most part isn't most part isn't regulated so it's unregulated for now it, it obviously this is early day for crypto based platforms so it will get better and better and this actually usually occurs at early stages of a company of an idea so usually what happens is a white paper is published along with their idea and the white paper essentially usually from a technical point of view explains their concept how their ideas going to work how their products going to work it's less of a marketing document and more to say we know what we're doing this is what we plan on doing it so how do i get an ico do i just give money not quite the first thing you need to know is that what it does is sells it sells new crypto currency tokens tokens that underlie new projects so you know new projects that a company has whether it's a small or even potentially a big company so it sells these new new tokens that at the moment can't, you can't really do much with them and this is in exchange so this is exchanged for cryptocurrencies such as ether or bitcoin or something else a lot of time it is ether and ethereum based platforms that you do ICOs, but you could do it for other currency as well such as bitcoin so you create your own new cryptocurrency essentially these tokens are exchanged for already existing big cryptocurrency which have quite a lot of appeal which have a lot of adoption and that essentially funds the company these are great they're great for engaging with the company uh, i mean with the community and obviously vice versa will be with the company because it's more of a personal touch so you can think of this similar to crowd funding platforms such as kickstarter and indiegogo Platforms like Kickstarter have given way to companies like Oculus and many other really, really cool companies. So it's actually more akin to 
platforms like Kickstarter and Indiegogo, where you don't give a share in your company, but what you do is actually sort of just almost like give rewards. We'll discuss those rewards in a second. One of the disadvantages it is there are lots of fraudsters because it's not very well regulated at the moment. There are people that are publishing white papers that are essentially just like 10, 20 page marketing presentations or documents and they're not actually doing anything technical and they're gaining all this money and they're, sometimes they're just trying to run away. Obviously, there are institutions that are trying to fix this by putting certain conditions in place, by having like an escrow account and that needs several signatures by different private keys to be able to get the funds and use them. And there's usually an individual that is impartial to the idea, to the idea that is part of all of this private key of, of, of almost like this consortium. Another difference to an IPO is there's usually a time limit that you can actually buy these tokens so again that's another big similarity to crowdfunding like kickstarter because they have a time limit they can raise more but they can't raise less there is a maximum number of tokens that can be issued as well so obviously that's i guess sort of similar to an ipo and that's not that's more similar to an ipo compared to a regular crowdfunding so I already mentioned it's not like shares because you don't have control of a portion of the company but though they're not like typical shares in a company they can still be traded so if i have these new crypto tokens in this amazing new company called i don't know ants company and i can buy these crypto tokens i can trade them they have value and that value can go up and down and also i can also spend the tokens spend the tokens on stuff obviously most sort of merchants won't accept these new tokens but they can actually sometimes be used on the actual company's product itself so you can help fund it but then actually access their product so if you check out my previous video which i did on data storage within the block other uses of blockchain section i talked about a company called store j and this was a decentralized blockchain based data storage company and they had a ico they raised money and what they are allowing you to do is actually use the tokens that you got from the ico to purchase storage space which is which is pretty cool so if you really believe in this company that's I would only recommend if you to invest if you like really believe in what they're doing and you have faith in them then they you would have to buy storage space so you could invest and support them but it didn't just go to that point because with kickstarter depending on how much you invest usually like the first few sort of investment brackets you don't really get much you might get like a thank you email or like a t-shirt you know just minor stuff if you, then if you get to a certain amount you leave roughly the cost of the product and you'll you'll actually get that product then then beyond that you can get multiple products potentially a visit to the company and have a meal with the creators and the company as well but with this it's similar to that but you could actually use those tokens within the company it obviously depends on what that company is doing so you might not be able to use it within the company but this is just a sort of a really cool concept i think icos 
are going to change the future of fundraising. They're going to make way for a lot of people to be able to easily raise funds in a, in, in a very unregulated market. And to an extent, that's going to be good because you're going to be able to do it very fast, really quickly, reduce the expenses. Obviously, there'll be fraudsters and I think we'll have certain in systems that'll be implemented over the next few years to help combat that but keep the sort of the speed nature of ICOs still being one of the main aspects that make it attractive. So this has been a video on initial coin offerings. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And as usual, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next lesson.